Hello, this is Mark Wildman of Wildman Athletica, and today we are going to talk about how big the slam ball program is. We have a slam ball program that is coming out this week. People have been asking questions in advance. Fantastic. Primary question, how big is the slam ball program? The slam ball program is a five level program. And that means it's a fairly large program because we recommend you do it with at least three weights. We would like you to do each level of the program four to eight times per weight. So let's do the math. Five levels times four, that's the minimum number of weights, would be 20 workouts for one weight. If you did that twice a week, it would be 10 weeks. If you do it with three weights, as we recommend, so you can start light, not get hurt, and ramp up your technique, then that would be 10 weeks times three weights would be 30 weeks. That would be half a year to do it the shortest possible way. You could just do it with one weight, but why? You know, the goal is to repeat things over and over and over again so that you learn them, understand them, and get better at them, and then move towards mastery of those basic movements. Most people are gonna end up doing each level six times per weight because they might not have more weights available. To do it with four times per weight, you would like to have five pound jumps. Most people are probably gonna have access to 10 pound jumps because that's what gyms have and that's what's commonly sold. So that would mean five levels times six workouts per weight would mean 30 workouts per weight at twice a week. That would be 15 weeks of training at three weights. 15 times three is 45. Now we're nearly at a year of training just from doing three weights and plugging this into your program twice a week. We will include tracking in the program to do it up to eight times per weight because we assume most people are gonna do kind of four and they'll try and go up in weight, which is excellent and very good. They'll try a weight up and then they'll come back down and their performance will skyrocket because they will have tricked their nervous system by using a heavier weight. And they will go back and they will do workouts five and six and they will get a big jump in their performance with that previous weight. We're gonna set up tracking in the PDF for a seventh and an eighth workout. That way, if you take a break from training and you come back or if you get injured and you need to drop weight down to say 50% and ramp back up, then there will be two slots there for you to record that data as well. Three weights is kind of the minimum we would like people to get through in order to really understand the movements and really get what you want out of the program. Five weights would be even better. So think for gentlemen, if they started at say 30 pounds, which is a little bit light, but that's fine. We want people to start lighter so that they are less likely to get hurt. They are more familiar with the movements because these are not the most common movements out there and then ramp up. So if you had 30, 40, 50, 60, and 70 pounds, that would be five weights. If you're doing it fast at four workouts per weight, that would be 10 weeks times five would be 50 weeks. If you were doing it like most people do it at six workouts per weight, you would have 15 weeks times five would give you 45, 60, 75 weeks of training. Did I do that right? Yeah. If you would like to push it even further, then you could do seven weights. You don't have to do the program straight through. None of the programs that I design are designed to do straight through. They're designed to allow you to flip back and forth based on equipment availability and your time availability. So you could do all the workouts with two weights and then you could take a break for a month because you go on vacation or you have family things or something. And then you could come back and start with a third way and you could run that system all the way through. And then you could take two months off and then you could come back and you could run the program again. Every time you rerun the program, you will get better and stronger at those fundamental athletic skills. That's always how we're designing programs so that you can start them, drop in and drop out of them because realistically, that's how people really train. People tend not to train straight up on a perfect schedule for a year or two years or three years straight. They'll get in and they'll get nine solid weeks of training in and then something will disrupt it and they'll have to take 10 days off and then they'll come back to training and they'll do it again and then they'll have to go someplace for work and they'll take a month off and they'll come back in. All of our programs are specifically designed to do that, to drop in and drop out. That's fine, that's what we want. That actually can be very beneficial for people in the long run because taking a mental and a physical break from really big programs like this helps people actually get better over time. All of these programs are of course designed to Tetris into each other as well. So we are gonna make some more videos about 
how the slam ball will Tetris in with other types of training. But the shortest possible version of this program at three weights is 30 weeks. More likely it's 45 weeks. And you can push it way further than that. If you wanna keep going up with weight, this program will run for three plus years easily if you wanna get up into the 100 pound, 125 pound range. You're gonna need to start light if you wanna get up there though and not die.